middle when you're ready. Are you started to fix it yet? Like the flower. 
First, we're going to put a little bit of that here. These go too hard together. These go to bring cream together. So this we go to, to, to be the start. We go to what we want is break that a little bit and put the sauce inside. You know, this is what volovan is. Volovan normally is going to be covered by the sauce, but I don't want to cover it, so I just make the hole inside, and, and the sauce going to be inside, but it don't go to make whole saggy. It going to be saggy a little bit in the middle is what you want, and it's going to be crunchy around. So we go to have the bomb, bomb, have the pleasure. And after we go to put that inside somewhere, make them the high as they can stay, better, a little bit like that, you know, and after we can start to play, it. we can play like that, why not, we are free, we do whatever we want, we have the nice mushroom. Now you can even try to put one here like that. Are we scared to do that? For the server, it's going to be difficult for the server. But for us, it can be a nice pleasure to do that, you know? You would like to have the garlic, but you don't want to get the garlic. There's little mushroom, you see how they are? You would like to eat it.
Uh, I, I, already said, I already put the Bouteille of saint Jérôme. No, I do not eat. So okay. it's going to be... What is the Queen? Just thought I'd mention it. <laughs> if there's any confusion. No, the Queen. <laughs> <laughs> no, just the Queen. <laughs> she doesn't. You never see the Queen eat. She always eats before. So it does eat. At the time, the chef was only the people who cooked the meat because yes. the chef, he wasn't a, a yeah, thing. Because he so chain, you move the chains yeah, it's a chain. in the old fireplaces. Exactly. That's right. So it's for that there is a chain. Yeah. There is that. More than ready. No, no. With pleasure. Okay. So tell us where you're from and the French experience here you bring to your restaurant. Uh, it's very nice. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being at Saint-Jacques. It's a, it's a nice place where we can uh, explore the, the French cuisine. Not that much uh, the, the classic, uh, because when you see classic, you see dust. No, it is modern. What, what we want to do is to use a local product, like we can see here the local product we have all around. We can use some French technique, and I bring that from Grenoble, where I was born. Paris, where I worked for more than 20 years, and this was an experience. Working in Paris in a kitchen, you know this is special. It is very special. And it, it's I what I like to bring here. I'm sorry to interrupt, but I, I want to bring that here. It's like I bring Paris to Raleigh a little bit, you know? <laughs> and you'll bring Bastille Day and the celebrations of the French people. This, it cannot come without. It's part of uh, our culture. It's part of our DNA. So tell us what do you do special here for Bastille Day? So we go to have a large party. Uh, we go to have, instead to have a little table here, here, we go to have a long table. Because what we do, it's a long table, everybody together. And we share the moment. It's like it's almost, we want to do a picnic. <laughs> Like everybody got to bring something to share with others, you know? And is what we want. We want to have music. Because it's ball. A ball is dancing. It's like, it's France on, is the day before, is the 13th or the 14th. France at this point is a big ball. Everybody dance. What does it mean to the families here to celebrate the French? It is uh, the chance to have two parties in July month. With 4 of July and after 14 of July. And people said, but I don't know about that. They said everything is cheaper. If you want to buy for 14th of July party stuff, is all the on sale from 4th of July. It's the same color. Red, white, blue. <laughs> yeah, it's the same thing. So this is for that is good deal to have that after. But no, we got to celebrate by just being together, just having a moment where uh, we can celebrate to be together in a sense where uh, 14th of July is when people remember where we come from. Remember how uh, fragile it is to have a, a republic, to have a democracy, you know, to don't have the, the king, no more monarchy. Somewhere, this, we are uh, proud of that. We are proud to be able to say, OK, king, we like you, but no more. We cannot take it anymore. And the king don't understand, you know? He said, oh, why, why, why? And Marie Antoinette, she was very nice. They was, they was kids, you know? They, they were just uh, the, the wrong generation of king at the wrong moment, but you have to end. And the symbol was uh, when uh, and the Place de la Concorde, when we take off uh, the head of the, of the king, it was a symbol of uh, that. I know here what we talk about is Bastille Day. Bastille Day was the first step. Is when we decide, oh, we can do it. When everybody came together, they started from Vizille. Vizil is where there is an état généraux. Vizil is exactly where I was born. It's near Grenoble. So they started to walk from Vizil and walk to Paris. And everybody come with them. And poof, they arrived in Paris. Big party, let's take the Bastille. And since we celebrate 100 years after the 14th of July, we decided by decret, let's have a party this day. Let's celebrate that together. Remember how Republic is important and how coming together make what France is. What are the typical foods that French people eat during the Bastille Day? It's incredible how we love simple things, but the best simple thing you can buy. 14th of July, don't go to be the most fancy moment. If you want to have all the fancy food, it's going to be around Christmas. Uh, the 14th of July, it's going to be easy food to share. It's going to be something you want to share. 
you make barbecue, you have a, a nice platter in the middle of the table and you share with friends. It's what you want. The idea is to be together. And food is just a, a, one of the vectors, one of the factors for help us to bring, to bring together. You like to share food, I share with you, I share with you, we share what we have. Oh, you have that, you have a bread. You put the bread in the middle of the table. You break the bread, tu rompt le pain and you share with everybody. Is that the idea? Is sharing the moment together once a year. Everybody like each other. It's only once a year. Is that good? Because it, 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 they said, let's have fun. Let's be together. What is very nice, too, is at one point, they decide to give to the firemen, the fire station. Like this fire station here, imagine that. They create a ball, in a ball des pompiers, a fireman dancing ball. And what's happened? He allowed them to, to make money. So they open a ball. People come to dance. And the security, it is the fireman with a water gun. Pshh. If there is problem, pshh. no problem. Never problem. Just music and people dance together. Dancing together. What does it mean, though, for Raleigh, for people in North Carolina, for French people and people of French heritage to come together? To I think it's very important. It's part, it's part of uh, what we are. It's uh, maybe like when you're in France once a year, you like each other. When we are in a, in a rally once a year, we, we remember where we come from. Uh, I believe, like you, you understand, it's a blend. We have to blend America and France together. I think it's the nicest way to do. And, and once a year, we, we can remember we are, we, where we come from. But we also friends every day, but American too. So it's nice to share that. Like we share the 4th of July with you, and we are 4th of July with the people. I'm with the people, you know? So with the people. We, like French, we, we, we. So it, it's, it's important to be part of that. It's a celebration. The 4th of July, the 14th of July, it's just a good moment. It's just a moment. And what a chance, they are so near. We have, whoa. <laughs> like a, a good moment, a good party. It's a very good party. I think we've got it, gentlemen. I think that we're good. Too sharply, uh, so tell us where you come from and what you're bringing to this restaurant, your culture and your food heritage. You know, where I come from is uh, Grenoble. It's a, a little town. Not that little, but it's a town. I I'm going to ask that again. Sorry. Yeah, no, it's a... Uh, now, let me ask you that question again. So we'll start again. Okay. Yes, start let's start again. Just kind of stay there. I'm Just because stay. I'm really tight on you, and if you move around, we're going to have to start it, moving. It okay, so I don't focus. move. Don't I, I, move. I, I, Just look you at be me. animated. Be you animated. can do this bit, but I don't mean, do this bit. Yeah, you I'm going to be animated <laughs> inside. Well, you you go to see the animation yeah, inside. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is just to cover some stuff. Yeah, yeah. let's cover it. Let's cover it. <laughs> Is that where you're going to be? All right. All right. Uh, I mean, yeah, let's do it like that. Okay. okay, sounds good. For the Bastille Day, what are the foods that we're going to celebrate here at Saint-Jacques? All the food you can share with friends. You know, what we like to do for the Bastille Day is to celebrate, to be together. So what we want to do is to share. Look what I bring, look what I bring. And you are so proud to bring something to share with friends. Let's break the bread. Let's look my bottle of wine I found. We go to share that together. This is what it is. Let's don't forget where we come from. We are republic. You know, uh, one day we decided no more king. It's what we celebrate. We want to be together for that. So, bon appétit. I love the way you said the bon appétit. Can you give me one really short and end with bon appétit? Can you tell me what we're here to share and be together for Bastille yes. Day? Bon appétit. Just real short. Avec plaisir. Bastille Day is Bastille Day is just a moment when everybody comes together, shares the love, shares the food, shares the wine, shares the bread, and share everything together. Bon appétit. <laughs> bon appétit. <laughs>
think <laughs> Americans have had enough. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, 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 you I, can I, come home. The Queen will take you back. I'm going to the British citizenship. Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. And America is for yes. everybody who is here. Yes. Yeah, I get very sensitive about We are about all that. immigrants. Unless you're a Native American, no. you're all immigrants. Them, yeah. My parents came from Germany. I'm a grandparent from Germany. Yeah, we are all immigrants. People forget that. Yeah. Seriously? And they were talking about this couple were upset that they were, and, and they were, they were African American. They were upset and they felt that they were moved to the back of the restaurant because and not the front, not in the good seats. So they were making a complaint, right? And I thought, do you think it's oh, it's London? This we talk about integration. This uh, is integration. Yeah. It, it's yeah. not it, here. It's communitarianism. It's yeah. It's community, uh, not against community, but besides community. Exactly. That's where we are now. Yeah, yeah. you're a relative of mine were. Yeah. No question. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sort of How are oh, you? Hey, in North Carolina. Hockey <laughs> <laughs> dockey. <laughs> they just don't want to understand somebody else. But if you like you you know, if you want to understand, you can. I communicate with people who don't even speak the same language. There is a way to communicate. So It is the epitome of a patron a French pastry shop. Oh, okay. But it's an awkward place to park. Um, so we'll go to the other and I'll see if I can. But it gives you a feeling of a sort of cafe or a small.
Bonjour, je m'appelle Daniel. Je viens de Caroline du Nord, ici à Raleigh. J'ai commencé à venir à cette pâtisserie il y a quelques mois. C'est absolument délicieux. Pour moi, c'est vraiment l'occasion de pratiquer mon français dans un endroit dans, à Raleigh. Et c'est vraiment l'occasion qui est possible ici avec d'autres francophones et, et ceux qui parlent français. Donc, bienvenue. <rire> Moi, je m'appelle Khadija, je suis from Morocco, uh, je suis ici three years. I'm new here, I'm new ici, je suis new, je suis <laughs> nouvelle, <laughs> nouvelle ici. J'aime des pâtisseries, des pâtisseries, that's it, <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> J'ai oublié beaucoup de français. Yes. Look at each other while you're talking. Uh, oh, d'accord. Uh, je suis, je m'appelle Shaima. Uh, je suis du Maroc. Uh, C'est la deuxième fois ou bien la troisième fois que je viens ici. J'aime bien les pâtisseries ici. Uh, elles sont fraîches, uh, délicieuses. <laughs> Et pour moi, c'est vraiment euh, une bonne chose de voir des, des autres francophones et ceux qui viennent de la francophonie, qui viennent à cette pâtisserie, parce que c'est euh, une authenticité euh, de voir d'autres francophones ici. C'est ce, euh, comment on sait que c'est des, euh, des bons croissants et, et quoi oui. que ce soit. Oui. On est sûr, on est certain. Oui. <rire> D'accord. Euh, et je m'appelle Céjal. J'aime le pâtisserie et, euh, oh, et euh, euh, j'aime le, le café ici, et, et très bien. Ouais. C'est vraiment une, une pierre précieuse cachée de, dans la ville. Ce n'est pas euh, comme les grands panneaux, ce n'est pas tout à fait visible de la rue, mais, oui. mais quand même. Um, si on, on est euh, au courant, euh, c'est vraiment une, un bon endroit de, de venir. Could, we, could you say something about this, you know, it's the color, the texture, the taste, the, the beauty of his cooking. Tell us, if you just try and describe, it's the, I mean, if they're perfect, I mean, if you look at them, and I put the words them on, could you describe in words that sound somewhat English? Um, okay. Delicious, <laughs> delicious, yes, you know, um, the, the color, the, you know, cream, or something, I don't know what the words are, but, moi, je, je trouve euh, souvent que les Américains ont peur de la beurre. Euh, ils sont vraiment, euh, ils, ils n'aiment pas les, les gras. Uh, ils, ils veulent uh, toujours uh, garder contre les, les gras et l'huile et, et, le, et la beurre, mais ici on, on trouve uh, les croissants qui sont parfaits, qui sont le, la bonne couleur et qui sont fabriqués avec, j'imagine, quelques livres de beurre chacun. Mais quand même, c'est génial, c'est vraiment authentique et, et français. Moi, j'ai commencé. Vous avez. Je suis Daniel. J'ai commencé à euh, apprendre le français euh, quand j'avais 12 ans, je veux dire. J'ai une colonie de vacances française, mais c'est à Minnesota, en fait. Pas, pas, en, pas en France. Mais euh, c'est une passion. Euh, c'est une de mes passions, le, le français. Euh, c'est un peu difficile, c'est facile de le dire, parce que c'est une pratique, c'est un peu trop Quand j'étais au Canada, il y a les deux langues officielles, l'anglais et le français. Mais au Québec, et surtout les Montréalais, me parlaient uniquement en anglais parce qu'ils savaient 
immédiatement que j'étais anglophone. Et je dis, oh non, mais je veux pratiquer, je veux pratiquer, je, je suis ici à apprendre. Et c'était toujours, oh, il est autre touriste, il vient de New York, Toronto, il ne parle pas de français. Mais j'ai essayé de, <rire> de combattre et de, de continuer à parler. Ouais. J'ai pris le français quand j leur, euh, lorsque j'étais en première, euh, première année en primaire, mm -hmm. mais euh, j'ai arrêté de prendre le français lorsque j'ai commencé de prendre anglais. Et ça fait cinq ans maintenant. Oui. Euh, mais j'étais un, euh, un peu jeune que, quand j'ai venu ici. Euh, ça ne m'aidait pas de euh, mémoriser <rire> le français, la français parce que um, je ne sais pas. Oven, pour like a few, uh, few minutes. And so then, you've already made, you've already yeah, made. Yeah, the, uh, like a little bit over halfway uh, baked. Uh, those are done. Yeah, I'm going to cut it. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, and yeah. then you put it together. Okay, and yeah. what, what, are, what are these called here in front of you? Okay, the those are biscottis, yeah, uh, vanilla biscottis. Those are uh, 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 almond biscottis. Um, they're thick, and they, but there's some, I can see they're more moist than Yeah, than so see. I'm going to finish working on uh, the vanilla biscottis. Okay, uh, my croissant is calling me. Sorry, oh. I, my yep. croissant, yep. Yeah, you want to come and take a look at it? Sure. Um, Yeah. Okay, that's the uh uh Croissants, regular croissants. Um. <laughs> this is the uh, chocolate. Hey, could you say that one more time, sir? Oh, what are these here? Yeah, those are uh, chocolate croissants. I have to uh, wait, uh, egg wash them and then put them in the oven. for 15 minutes. Finish those to put them back on uh, in the oven. Thank you. I'm going to give you some once I finish with Go ahead. Uh, this is a parachute. Yeah, once I finish with it, it's just uh, the shell. Once I finish with it, you know, I just fit it up with um, a pastry cream and then um, cover it with chocolate. And then it's an eclair. Napoleons, I don't know if you heard that Napoleons or not. Yeah, we call it uh, uh, milfei. Yeah, I'm gonna cut it.
you get the nine cents rate? You just get used to it, that's it. You just get used to it. Lila. Okay. Uh, no, I, got, I have no idea. <laughs> Where did you learn to make uh, I learned. I learned back in Algeria, which is uh, my country. Uh, you know, the days I was here, it was like a no French bakery. And, um, you know, I started thinking about it. I said, uh, since I have an idea, when I, you know, when I was a, a little boy, uh, I worked for uh, our uh, a bakery in my neighborhood back home, so I get the idea. And then, you know, one day we were talking, you know, uh, my friends and I, we were talking about a um, uh, French bakery in, in Raleigh and said, uh, you know, there is no French bakery here. I kept thinking about it. I went back home and, you know, uh, you know I paid a lot of money to, to learn how to bake. Then, you know, came back here and started, you know, uh, doing practices and, you know, throwing away lots of flour, butter, you know, eggs, sugar in the garbage. And then, um, you know, I learned. I learned from home. I was like uh, giving away, um, you know, uh, making gifts instead of buying, you know, like a perfumes or watches or something. I just make a cake and give it, give it to my friends. And then I learned. And, uh, you know, thanks to my friends, they, they uh, encouraged me, yeah. And here I am, you know, I'm, I have a business and I'm trying to grow in my business, yeah. Go ahead. I do it to it. Make it, uh, make it latte, okay? We're gonna give it to uh, to the customer.
So I should I look at you? Should look at you? Oh, yeah. So I'm a Parisian, and I've been looking for the genuine Parisian croissant since I moved to Raleigh, and I found it here. It's amazing. You can do it one more time. Okay, sure. So I'm a Parisian. And I've been looking for the genuine French croissant since I moved to the area, and I found it here. It's amazing. Excellent. Excellent. That's great. All right. Thank you very much. Oh, man, it's warm from the oven. Got it. Where's my makeup artist? <laughs> All right. Thank you. Ah, uh, yeah, of course. Merci. Très bien. Merci.
Those are for teenagers, though. You're talking about teenager, teenage adults, teenagers, and adults. adults and kids. Okay. Yeah, and it's now for all ages. Yeah. Right. We'll wait. Wait for Great. it. Great. Three questions. Okay. Um, what I think would be helpful. Let's go. Okay. So just yeah, just like ju just two books, history books about mm -hmm. uh, the Bastille Day and oh. <coughs> about how people, French people. The Bastille Day, the 14th of July of uh, 1789. So, just a, a few books, historical books. I mean, the children's the book. That's, that's a book for adults. Adults, okay. And that's another book for adults too, with all the history of the right. Bastille. Right. But we have a children's book here with. Um, <coughs> Crackles and dance in the street, and um, this is a song. But the 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 national song is La Marseillaise, and um, yeah, it's a um, well, it's quite a book. Yeah, yeah just uh, I know. Book. Here we yeah. go. This is what we we have. We'll have to take this. We do need a. Sh okay, hang on. Matt will tell us when. Yeah, just finish it up. Thank you. Okay. Okay. And, and you said you're from Belgium. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 it's shiny. Oh. No, our husband's behind. Yeah. Oh. Pictures. <laughs> it's all. It is all. It's all good. It's all good. How long have you been here? 
In Raleigh, since uh, one year and a half, and we opened the store since six, since six months. Six months. Yeah. Because this piece is going to be shown this year, next year, maybe for another couple of years, we're not going to talk about dates or times. Okay. okay. We're just going to say, so I just, if I stop you, it's because you've said a date or a time and I don't want you to do that. Okay. Okay. So we're just okay. going to be talking about you and your bookstore, you and your husband's bookstore. Right? Okay. What we will do. Are you ready? We're good. Wonderful. So, Laurence, tell us about your bookstore. This was a dream of yours. Yeah, it's my, it was my dream and it's really my dream now. Um, I have more than 3,000 titles in this bookstore. We have only French-speaking writers and some translated in English. Um, books for adults, for children graphic novels and uh, novels, literature, so on. Is it okay? Uh, um, I could, in the beginning it was fine, it's at the very end of her sentence though, it wasn't very loud. Um, okay. I mean, um, is it understandable what I say? Yep. Oh, yes, yes. Yes. Yeah. I just say, 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 don't, I don't move, know don't move. Okay. It is a customer. Yeah. yeah. Like we should. We'll just try that again. And okay. um, Bob's over there, so I'm sure he's doing something. Okay. So, Lance, say, you know, just tell me that again that it's always been your dream to have a bookstore. You have over 3,000 titles here. In yeah. Here. And. Uh, so you start and tell me that from the beginning. Okay. So, I have. It's, it was my dream. It's my dream now. And I'm very happy, happy about that. Um, we have 3,000 titles in the bookstore for adults, for kids. We have uh, only French speaking writers. Uh, some are translated in English. And uh, books for adults, for kids, and graphic novels and some novels, some poetry books, uh, non-fiction, and so on. Why is this a good place to come? If you want to learn about France, if you want to learn about French culture, this is a place to come in Raleigh, so tell us about that. Yeah, uh, because of the triangle of research, research Research Sorry, triangle. the Just research triangle. Again. So, because of the research triangle, and uh, we know that there is a large francophone community. Uh, we met some French people, obviously, but also with Lebanon, from Lebanon, from Belgium, Switzerland, Quebec, Haiti. So we know about this large francophone community but we have also many american people who want to read in french and to start again to learn french or to read french or to speak french so it's about 85 of our customers 85 percent of our customers you've also got a university system and schools that come here tell us about the schools and yeah students. we yeah there is there are three universities around uh, us uh, many schools, many French teachers, and uh, we met uh, now many French teachers and many French students. So it's very um, amazing. Yeah. How's the sound on the back? Uh, it's fine. Yeah, there's okay. just a one squeak. Uh, yeah. Are you okay? No, no. Uh, it's my English, English is good. It's fine. English is fine. English is fine. Say, now tell us for, uh, do you want to call this Bastille Day or French National Day? What, 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 would, you, what would you like to say this? About the Bastille Day, what? we... we yeah, yeah. So tell us what you do, you're going to be doing for Bastille Day. Oh, uh, it will be a special day. We will make a game with our customers. We'll offer a game and we'll offer a gift basket to the winner. But it will, it will be a game with questions about history, geography, culture, literature, and gastronomy in France. So we wait for many people, we hope. And uh, we offer all the day a, tist a tasting of our products, of our French products. In the store you have books, you have children's books, children's games, you have food, you have wine, cheese. Tell us all the different things that we can experience and have an opportunity 
to ha buy your store? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Uh, you know, in, the, in, the, in our store, we have. What we. Yes, you tell want? us all the t different types of things that you have in your store. Okay. Uh, the, the bookstore is not the all, all the. It's one of the both parties of the Let's start store. That again. Yeah. One yeah. Of the so bookstore is uh, one part of it, the other is. Yeah. Sorry. The bookstore is one of part the, of the store, but the other part is a grocery store with French food products. So we have cheese, we have chakri, we have, of course, wine. Uh, we have mustard, we have all savory products and some cookies, butter cookies or candies or many things. Wonderful. I noticed, and we'll go and take some shots of this in a minute, there are Toys for, you know, we encourage children to come. Yeah. Because, so we have toys, we have games, we have books. So it's really helpful to learn a language at a young age, something. Okay, for, ki for kids? Just do a children's, the thing about your children's section. Okay, great. Okay, I'm ready. Go ahead. Tell me about your children's section. Okay, we have um, a choice of books from zero to 15 years old. Uh, for the babies, we have a lot of tissue books. They are in France, but with a, lo a, a little bit of words. So the, the books are really beautiful. They are in tissue, and it's really for kids, for babies. Uh, after, we have books from 1 to 15, with very beautiful illustrations. And we have also uh, bilingual books for kids who want to learn French. Why is it important to you to share your culture and your language? Oh, I think the French is a, the French language is a really beautiful language, and in France we have a very very large culture. So I think we have to share that. It's a, it's a pleasure for me to share that with American people. And um, I, it's a pleasure because they, uh, I, I feel they, they love French language. So it's a really, a really great pleasure to share that with, uh, with them. I want to try that again, but it was lovely. I'm just sorry. Just <laughs> say it uh, from your heart and yeah. just try that again. Uh, it is, and it, I could be very short. It's just a pleasure to share your language and your culture. Yeah. Because it's, uh, it's in, this is very important to you. Yeah. It's a, uh, it's a really a great pleasure to share that, to share the, this French culture with uh, American people because I feel they love French culture and they are linked with France with many things. So for me, it's, uh, each day, it's a real pleasure to share that with American people. Yeah. That was good. That, that was good. That was great. Yeah. That Is was it good. okay? Yeah. That was very good. Um, Do you have any other questions? No. I can you think of? No, I think knowing where this. Oh, I know what it is. Um, uh, sorry, I do have. Don't move. <laughs> um, let's just say. I know you're saying you're not going to do the book club, but we have book club. I we have. We have groups meet in the store. Mm -hmm. I know we're not going to see oh, that, okay. but just tell me about this store is, is becoming a center for French culture in Raleigh. Yeah. You know, do you, well, I, nowhere else. I else hope. Is food. I, I, yeah, our, ho our hope is yeah. that this store will become a center for French culture. Yeah. Uh, you know, a place for people to come. Okay. I hope that this place will become a French. A center. A French center, oh, a center of the French. French. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, re <laughs> I really hope that this place will become a French. No, I really hope. Ah, that this place will become a center. I really hope that this place will become a center of French culture in Raleigh and in North Carolina. Why not? And. Um, I think it's important that France will be represented in here in North Carolina 
North Carolina. Yeah. Let's do that. I hope France will be represented. I hope we can represent France in North Carolina. Yeah. I hope we can. We could represent France in North Carolina for the future years. Yeah. For the next years, it would be better. Future years is good. Okay. Future years is good. Um, we, we, okay, we missed the point though. We, 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 we haven't said the point that groups come here to, re yeah, French clubs come Fr here yeah. to, you know. Tell us a little bit about the groups and the clubs that come here. Okay. We already made some events, some cheese testings, some wine testings with Philip, my husband, and uh, we, we will make book clubs in September. That's right, we're not going to say that. We're going to say we have book clubs and we have groups oh. that come to ta taste the wine and the cheese. Okay, we have book clubs and some events to people to, for sharing the wine and cheese and to learn American people how to taste wine and cheese. I, I'm not happy because it's as we French people have to learn to American people some things, and I don't like that. <laughs> we don't have to learn new some things. I know it's bad. <laughs> okay, all right. You say what you you uh, say. I don't know. We don't have to learn to teach you. No, but share. Uh, well, share. Share it's, it's better. Different. Yeah. Share. We have to share that. We have mm -hmm. to share wine and cheese tasting with you. That's right. So tell yeah. me. So we, yeah, we it's want better. to share, we're sharing our, our culture, our foods, our books, oh, yeah. you know, we just, we're enjoying that. As we learn from you, we're yeah. sharing with you. Okay, we are, yeah. In your way. Yeah, Philip, Philip and I will be happy to share with you cheese and wine tastings and book clubs and uh, L'Heure du Comte, Saturday morning for kids, and we are very happy to do that. That was great. <laughs>
another piece. Yeah. Yep. Okay, I'll grab the same piece and not till I get it ready. Yep. Oh, I don't try that. Yeah, it's a dry sausage, saucisson sec. It's very popular in France for appetizer. Mmm. Oh, Matt, good. <laughs> I'm trying. And then now you, you, uh, you're good. And then after a few seconds, I'm going to have you kind of flip through it. So it's kind of, there you go, yeah. And uh, go back to the cover for a second. So you just kind of lift it up and yep. look at it for a second and then open it. Yep. yep. Right, go ahead. One more time. I, I, I wonder if that's I got any pictures. That doesn't have pictures. Okay, sorry. Okay, yep. Well, she's got one in English too.
ready.
roughly the same spot. Okay. Okay, you're ready. Well, gosh, we've come here now for several years, and um, we really enjoy not only the food that's offered, of course, but the ambiance, whether we come here for a special date night or whether we bring our, all of our children with us. It's just it serves all of those needs. It's amazing. I always worry about the cameras on just because you better than what I don't. I really don't because you know what? When I'm here, I'm here in the moment. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. And we're so sorry to have interrupt you. We appreciate it. Yes, thank you. Oh, 
Back some more. Okay. All right, go. What are you going to do first?
Is it in the bag? Or? Yeah, we already have a bag. Mm -hmm. Don't we just stick it in with our other stuff? Thank you so very so, much. You, you have Thank a wonderful you. day, and I didn't know. It's Bastille Day today? No, it's the 14th of July. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Yes. Bye, have a great day. It's PhD day. Yes, it's done. It's all gone. No. Not yet. Not yesterday, or last time I came, it was not yesterday. Et on en a recommandé d'autres, donc euh, il, y a, il, y aura, il y aura même du choix supplémentaire. Yeah. 